Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse. Today we're going to be talking about some CW spin-offs that never went ahead in the Arrowverse. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this has been a video I've been wanting to make for a while because I've never actually touched on some of the other cancelled pilots that didn't go ahead at the CW, despite me talking about some deleted stuff from, say, the Supergirl pilot and the Flash pilot. We've talked about that in the past. However, we haven't talked about these shows specifically that did get pilot orders or were said to be in development at the CW, but never actually came to fruition. Now, I may miss out on like one or two of them, but these are the ones that I can remember as far back as when, you know, they were announced and, you know, some I became retrospectively aware of, like the first show we're going to be talking about because the Arrowverse was literally just starting here and I wasn't watching Arrow in Season 1, I watched it later on. However, let's go ahead and get right into this because I know that you guys are going to be very interested in this. Okay, so the first pilot that didn't go ahead was Dead Man. Now, a lot of you guys might know Deadman, he is heavily linked to Constantine and Justice League Dark. Obviously, Justice League Dark has been a project that DC and Warner Brothers have been trying to develop for a long time. But, Deadman was actually a thing when Arrow was literally first debuting. So, this was around the time where also the Flash talks were in the works and, you know, they were coming up with the ideas behind the show. And so, it seems like they actually went for the Flash instead of... Dead Man, but this was about 2011 in the summer. It was announced that the CW was going to go for a Dead Man show from Supernatural creator Eric Kripke. And this Dead Man show would have been an original show. I guess it wouldn't have been a spin off of Arrow because it was in 2011. And so it would have been showing his origins as, you know, the trapeze artist that he is. His name is Boston Brand in the comics and he's a ghost and he was murdered in real life and he has basically been forced to live out his days by inhabiting other people's bodies and helping them sort of resolve their inner conflicts and issues within their outer lives and so he's sort of this very cursed character similar to how Constantine many times is like oh I wish I was dead or you know he prefers to be in the hellscape rather than in reality because a character like Dead Man is actually supposed to be dead but he is forced to keep on living for all of eternity to help people. So he is kind of like this hero but more like an anti-hero he's not necessarily like a straight up hero but he does work with heroes like Batman like Superman you've seen him in some of the animated shows and Dead Man isn't one of the most popular properties over at DC like he is relatively well known but I think to the public he's not super well known and I think that is one of the reasons why this Dead Man show didn't go ahead because it's not that popular, and you can argue the same for Arrow. Green Arrow wasn't that popular, but he was more popular than Dead Man because he was, you know, a part of the Justice League at some point, and people are at least familiar with him. Black Canary and some of those concepts are definitely more in the pop culture than Dead Man. And so, this was coming after Supernatural success. It makes complete sense that they would want to tap the showrunner of that show because of the extreme success that the CW has had with it and obviously they were ready to create new DC projects after Smallville. It was also said that the showrunner of Supernatural also pitched the CW to do a Sandman show but that was actually passed on and then he obviously wanted to continue and create another DC show kind of in the vein of Smallville but making something darker and something new and that's where the Dead Man project came in however that just never went ahead and pretty much got stuck in the works. But that was the first show that I've got on my list. Now let's move on to the second show. This was just a couple of years later, this was in 2013. The CW president, Mark Pedowitz, confirmed to TV Line that a Wonder Woman series was going to be coming on the CW titled Amazon, which was in development with Scottish actress Amy Mason who was considered for the role of Diana Prince, aka Wonder Woman. 
However, just like the other show, like Dead Man, The Flash took priority and the show ended up being cancelled and not going ahead with the pilot. This is obviously a big shame because we've had now two Wonder Woman related projects to not go ahead in the Arrowverse and we've been waiting for that side of the world to be introduced. Obviously on Titans you do have Donna Troy so there's a little bit of that and it's technically canon with the rest of the Arrowverse due to Crisis on Infinite Earths. However, we've never properly gone into the sort of Wonder Woman side of the Arrowverse and it's a big shame, however, I don't know what this series would have been about and I have no idea if DC were developing the Wonder Woman film at that time which came out about four years after this announcement so I presume that they were filming and coming up with the project like, you know, maybe two years or three years after this project was announced so perhaps it was already in the works and that's probably one of the reasons why this Amazon TV show never actually went ahead. So along with this, one of the announcements I actually remember is that the CW was developing a comic book adaptation of Project 13 and Elizabeth Banks, who I'm sure a lot of you guys would probably notice from films, she was in Brightburn recently and she was in the Power Rangers film as the villain. She was supposed to produce Project 13 for the CW and that was going to be based on the characters of Tracy 13 and her father. Dr. Terrence 13 and this was a kind of low-key project that I don't think that many people are aware of and I think it's another instance similar to Dead Man where there wasn't just enough interest in this and perhaps whatever they brought to the CW for the pilot episode wasn't what they were looking for in the Arrowverse or related to the Arrowverse. So apparently Project 13 was going to be a one hour drama that would center on Tracy, a 20 something forensic scientist and believer in the paranormal who discovers her own extrasensory abilities when she joins her estranged skeptical father to investigate mysterious cases of paranormal and unexplained phenomena. Tracy and Dr. 13 have appeared in multiple comics in the DC universe including Flashpoint and Batman. And so they even had a writer and executive producer on the project along with Elizabeth Banks who was going to be producing through her production company that she works for and so it was like fully ready to go ahead and it would have joined in with the Arrowverse and it would have been a part of that. However, I think there is a chance that what they were doing with some of the other shows which are a bit similar, obviously Riverdale is a lot about mysteries and so perhaps some of those shows with similar aspects were some of the reasons why Project 13 show didn't go ahead, but also I don't think it's well known enough. Okay, so this is kind of related to the CW, but it was announced back in 2018, right at the start of 2018, that there were plans on the way for a Metropolis TV show that was coming to the DC Universe streaming service back when it was just starting and it was a big thing and so this would have been in the Arrowverse. Obviously you know that Superman Lois is run on HBO Max funding which basically would have had DC Universe funding if it was still a thing. Stargo actually originally aired on DC Universe as well as the CW and so this would have been a part of the Arrowverse, so this is a Metropolis series and it was described as a live action drama set prior to Superman arriving in the City of Tomorrow, centering on Lois Lane and Lex Luthor as they investigate the world of fringe science and expose the city's dark and bizarre secrets. So production was supposed to start later that year with the first season consisting of 13 episodes similar to how Gotham ran the show and obviously that was a prequel as well and that was going to be coming from the Gotham executive producers and obviously this didn't go ahead and maybe this was because they were trying to develop another Superman spin-off which turned out to be Superman Lois. It's very possible that that is the reason that didn't go ahead. Also, I don't think it would have garnered as much interest as a Superman show with him actually there. So let's move on to the final three shows. Two of them actually did get backdoor pilots, one didn't actually get a pilot, however, none of them went to series and so the first one is Painkiller, that was the spin-off that was going to be coming after Black Lightning ended to do with the character Painkiller, but that never went ahead and it probably would have seen the return of many Black Lightning characters and it would continue that world, so that was pretty much a sure thing for a while, but 
due to the pandemic, I think was a big reason that it didn't go ahead. But also, I don't think there was as much interest in a painkiller show compared to some other shows that the CW was sort of optioning at the time. However, the CW did actually not go ahead on two other shows around the same time. So Green Arrow and the Canaries is an Arrow spin-off that was heavily rumoured for a long, long time, especially since the backdoor pilot in the last season of Arrow. And so that never actually went ahead because they chose to move forward with other shows which actually weren't in the Arrowverse. But they did go for Naomi, which is coming out very soon. I'm looking forward to Naomi because it's a really good character in the comics who's currently a member of the Justice League. And so I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be in the Arrowverse. So they did go ahead on that rather than Green Arrow and the Canaries and Painkiller. And so this show would have starred Catherine McNamara, Katie Cassidy and Juliana Harkavy as the sort of Canaries and them teaming up in the world of Arrow and sort of continuing that Arrow world without obviously Oliver Queen and you would have seen Laurel Lance, you would have seen Diana Drake and Mia Smoke as the new Green Arrow. Now this was a show that was a little bit divisive, people didn't really like Mia and people say that that is one of the reasons that it didn't go ahead. Also apparently there was some behind the scenes stuff about who was the main star of the show and like how it would have fully gone ahead. However, I was actually looking forward to that show and I think it's a big shame that this didn't go ahead, but my biggest disappointment is this. So back earlier this year in February, it was announced that the Wonder Girl TV show would not be going ahead at the CW and this show was set to explore the origins of Yara Floor, the new Wonder Woman in the comics, but also the new Wonder Girl in the main timeline version of DC Comics right now. And so that was going to be a new show that would be centered around the sort of Wonder Woman world. And Yara Floor in the comics is a Amazonian warrior and a Brazilian river god. And so she's a whole mix and she's a literal Amazon, but she's also related to the Themyscirans and what they're doing over there. And so she learns that she's Wonder Girl and with her newfound powers, she fights the evil forces that, that seek to destroy the world. I think this is the biggest disappointment of any of these shows not going ahead because I really like Yara in the comics and she showed so much potential and her story is actually really good right now. So it was just such a big bummer to hear it and also with the CW trying to be very diverse, I feel like having a Latina character would have been the perfect way for them to introduce a whole new audience to get a new hero just like they did with Black Lightning or like they did with Supergirl being like the first female lead on a superhero show ever. This is a huge chance that they missed out on and I have no idea why they didn't go ahead with it. I presume that they just didn't like maybe the screenplay that they saw or maybe the idea just didn't fit with what they wanted to do with the rest of the Arrowverse. But I think it's a very weird choice that they didn't go ahead with this. But that's about it for today's video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new, but for now you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.